Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis and this is Daily Analytica Report. Let's start, let's start with the calendar, uh, long time no see. Mm, that's our first Daily Analytica Report this, uh, this year, this week. And um, well, I will explain what happened last week. We had interesting uh, movements on the market. We had flash crash on yen, uh, which happened during the a a Asian session. So it also strongly affected Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar, which are traded during the Asian session. And um, mm, surprisingly, uh, Brexit is no longer a big uh, a big uh, issue uh, right now. Uh, we don't have any uh, big movements um, on the pound. Um, we have uh, reversal on stocks after the huge decline that we had at the end of the year. Uh, so now let's uh, check the calendar uh, first, because uh, you need to know what is going to happen um, from the fundamental point of view. As you can see on Monday, we had the uh, PMI's data from Canada better than expected, from uh, U US uh, worse than expectations. Uh, today we don't have any tier 1 data, so only, mm, let's say, trade balance uh, from United States will be important. On Wednesday, on Wednesday we will have speech from Donald Trump. Um, well, Recently, we see that uh, he doesn't care about the uh, interference of him and stocks or dollar. He's doing what, uh, whatever he can. Um, he's talking about dollar, stocks, uh, about everything. So, uh, usually presidents, they try not to interfere with stocks. Uh, but Donald Trump does not care and he says whatever he wants about dollar, about the prices of stocks. Uh, so we can expect also something, uh, some remarks about the uh, dollar and the uh, recent decline on the American stock exchange. Uh, also, what do we have here? Um, we can see that the Bank of Canada will um, have a press conference, interest rate decision and rate a statement we are not expecting any changes in the interest rate from Canada uh, but definitely the um, monetary policy report and the press conference will be important and rate statement for the future uh, also we will have uh, FOMC minutes mm, so definitely uh, important for the American dollar uh, on Thursday, what we will have is ECB monetary policy meeting accounts and a speech from Jerome uh, Powell, but also inflation from China, which uh, can be significant. Uh, about the inflation, we will have CPI on Friday from uh, US and GDP uh, from uh, UK. So this week is not the busiest on the record, but uh, it will get more and more interesting uh, on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So as for now, it's quite easy. On Monday and Tuesday, uh, the calendar is rather empty. With that being said, let's move uh, on the charts, and we will start uh, this with the uh, with the cable, um, because uh, what do we have on the cable is kind of a double uh, bottom formation. Uh, what we have here is a drop, some the descending triangle drop, then a flag, then a drop. But as you can see, flag got denied with this reversal. Uh, so again, if you don't see it, uh, I'm gonna draw this for you. So uh, this is a flag breakout of the lower line of the flag in a downswing. So instead of the flag, what we got is a double bottom formation. Uh, which is not actually happening in a random place. As you can see, there is this white area of resistance, 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 support, 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 support. So one, two. Um, if you want to be more precise and adjust it to the recent price movements, you will have to do like this. Fair enough. Here, here. Maybe not here, but here, here, here. And now you can clearly see an important level for the cable. Uh, so now we are above this uh, this horizontal 
now support uh, recently a resistance so I'm sorry I deleted it so one more time here we are above this level uh, which shows us uh, actually the positive sentiment uh, which shows us the willingness for the price to climb uh, higher one two double bottom formation and after this we should see an upswing if you want to be more uh, mm, precise uh, this can be considered as a neckline of this double bottom formation so the breakout of this upper blue line should give us a nice buy signal so this is my outlook on the cable New Zealand dollar to American dollar recently I had a position here it was a short position it's already gone and uh, it's mm, it, it was going great right we had the head and shoulder pattern left shoulder head and right shoulder uh, we had the breakout of the neckline here then test of this neckline as a and resistance the price was going lower here you see this flash crash and after this the price reversed sharply so we have a cancellation of the sell signal mm, the main uh, level like horizontal one is here as you can see it was support here here resistance resistance Restance after the break of support, 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 and now the price uh, went back above the support, which gives us a buy signal. So the buy signal on the New Zealand dollar to American dollar is on, but maybe you want to play it safe and wait for the breakout of this line first. Maybe uh, let me change the color. So the breakout of the red line will give you a proper buy signal here on the New Zealand dollar to American dollar. Now Euro to British pound, on Euro to British pound we do have a sideways trend. So here there is a sideways trend which is here since the 10th of December. And as long as we are inside of the sideways trend we do not have any signal whatsoever. Oh, maybe you're, um, I'm a trend follower, so I would like to see the breakout from the sideways trend first. But maybe you are not the trend follower, but you uh, like to trade inside of the range. So if you like to trade inside of the range, you probably would like to buy the bounce from the lower green line and sell the bounce from the upper green line. Fair enough. That's also kind of approach on Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar this flash crash was pretty tr terrible as you can see here so the price went 260 pips lower unfortunately well fortunately for the trend followers because that was the trend the price was going lower we are telling you about this for a long time that on Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar there is only one direction and it's the downswing so if you had the position with the trend uh, with our recent uh, analysis you were uh, happy uh, why we were bearish here well on the weekly chart look at this we broke the lower line of the symmetric triangle boom lower and break out of the lower line of the symmetric triangle on a weekly chart and that was super significant so now what do we have as a symmetric is a rectangle i don't know if you can you want to consider this flash crash you want to consider this tail if not what do we have here is a normal correction like drop pennant drop rectangle drop rectangle and now where we are uh, we are on the upper line of this uh, of this rectangle and uh, also on the lower line of the symmetric triangle pattern here so this can be considered as a super strong ultra important resistance uh, which actually can be a good occasion to sell uh, if you want to play it safe you can wait for the breakout of this line here first that would also mean like a triple top formation that's uh, a nice trade in terms of the risk to reward ratio because uh, stop loss is very uh, tight here but the potential profit is absolutely huge 
if you consider the weekly chart um, what do we have here from here like take profit is 500 pips and the potential loss uh, if uh, potential loss is like 20 pips so guys that's 20 to 1 uh, potential profit is 20 times bigger than the potential loss mm, I think I don't think there is nothing to think about here and that's just a risk worth taking even if it will not work out Canadian dollar to Japanese yen that is beautiful so we uh, said that there should be a drop here there was a very very nice drop uh, why we said this well there was a downswing flag downswing right now what we are having here is a left shoulder head and a right shoulder quite beautiful pattern look left shoulder head and right shoulder there is a neckline so there was an attack on the neckline and there was a breakout so the price triggered a sell signal but as you can see the sell signal uh, stopped and that sell signal was fake and was denied and the price came back above the uh, green area this is a false breakout false breakout usually uh, results of the movement in the opposite direction and look upswing 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 i see a great buying opportunity unfortunately we are a bit too high for me for my risk to re reward ratio what i would love to see is a comeback and then an upswing because now like where should i place my stop loss order definitely not here because it would be too far uh be may, maybe below the neckline but that's also quite a lot that's 280 pips if the price would decline a little bit like here for example the risk to reward ratio would be much much better so in terms of the direction direction here is pretty clear so we should see an upswing uh, the only problem is with the risk to re reward ratio it could have been much much better than this oil oil finally has a correction so we uh, went lower we ended this year um, on the back foot the price reverse started this year with a nice upswing and now we are challenging the first important resistance obviously oil has a lot of those resistances so i don't think that a uh, breakout of this uh of this will mean anything but as you can see i extended this line and uh, this line was the upper line of the triangle to, uh, of the triangle and now this line is the neckline of this double bottom formation so one two i wouldn't consider it as a super strong line but still maybe it will be interesting uh, for you in my opinion the sell signal is on as long as we stay below 61.8 the comeback above 61.8 can mean a comeback to the uptrend now bitcoin and bitcoin is having okay bitcoin is here bitcoin is uh, in a sideways trend in a sideways trend but uh, many people see first the shoulder formation so a left shoulder ahead and a right shoulder for the buy signal from this we need to break the neckline so this upper line here some may see the uh, triangle or a pennant and pennant should result for the breakout of the lower line here i wouldn't go straight away for the lower line i won't wait for the breakout of this maybe let me change the color i would wait for the breakout of this red line first so the breakout of the red line sell signal breakout of the neckline so the upper black line will give you a buy signal towards six thousand uh towards six thousand dollars but still in the long term in the long term i would love to see the drop towards two thousand nine hundred dollars uh, which is my uh, idea for the um, for the long term loss for the long term target here american dollar japanese yen 
symmetric triangle, drop, flash crash, aiming horizontal support, but on a weekly chart look we defended this long term uh, line of the of the symmetric triangle too. Here we do have a reversal, and um, well, how deep this reversal can go? Uh, well, th th there is a uh, there is this situation where uh, many analysts they don't know if they should consider this uh, tail as a significant loss if we should consider them um, I think we can go as high as 61.8 because it's technically relevant here and that would be a good occasion to go short but my view is not so uh, strong on this uh, on this instrument now gold gold absolutely amazing movement at the end of the year end of the year was for gold so after they broke 38.2 the price went significantly uh, significantly higher uh, and uh, broke the upper line of the channel up formation or a flag if you consider this as a flag if you consider this is a flag this is a broken flag so the sell signal is off the table uh, failed formation should give us a signal in the opposite direction that's the signal in the opposite direction the price uh, breaks 50 price aims 61.8 all of those resistances were technically significant from the history as you can see here here and 61.8 here Obviously, after such a strong rise, we need some kind of a correction, and we do have a, some kind of the correction. As you can see, buyers try to keep this, uh, keep the price high, and they have this support here. And as long as we stay above this support here, uh, the uh, sentiment is positive. What the buy, what the sellers try to create is a head and shoulder pattern. So a left shoulder, head, and a right shoulder. So we should see uh, here. In case of the breakout of the neckline, we should see a drop. In case of the bounce, we should see a further upswing. Euro dollar, Euro dollar after the bounce from this long term downtrend line here and the horizontal resistance. I thought that the Euro dollar should decline further, but they bounce from the lower line here of this formation. And this formation is a, a wedge or a flag, it doesn't matter, a drop flag, it's supposed to be a drop, but but but. I think that as long as we stay below the green line, there is a sell signal, but the price getting to this checkpoint, that will be a super strong buy signal for Euro dollar. And that can uh, be very interesting here. S&P 500, so now we, I will analyze indexes of instruments that I analyzed on the trading sniper video i started with s p 500 because s p 500 is in a super important place right now and this super important place is this resistance uh, which was a support in 2000 in october 2017 it was a support in uh, february it was a support in april and after the breakout it's supposed to become a resistance but well it became a resistance but now it's kind of broken but still what we have here is a correction equality pattern as you can see those uh, rectangles those blue rectangles are the same in terms of the depth and uh, what is happening here is if we will come back above the yellow area and it's supposed that we will 
it still does not mean that we have a buy signal because still we do have this uh, correction quality pattern but we also have even more important especially recently more important uh, horizontal line resistance which is this gray line which was a support for the past three uh, for the last three months of 2018 so in October, November and December it was a super strong support. After the breakout it can be tested as a resistance surprise so getting to the gray area and drawing kind of a reversal pattern will be a nice signal to go short. Now DAX, uh, DAX is in a slightly worse situation and this reversal on DAX is uh, slightly smaller. Now what we have on DAX is the price is in the channel down formation those black lines is a channel down and the price is approaching combination of uh, the dynamic resistance which is upper line of the channel down formation and the horizontal resistance which is this green uh, green area as long as we stay uh, below and there is a sell signal price getting there and creating a bearish reversal pattern like a bounce from the shooting star so a long uh, head or a bearish angle thing or a head and shoulder formation or a double top formation with a divergence of the oscillators any of this in the area of the green line or the black line will be a strong sell signal for DAX because that's what the trend is and the price is more likely to follow the trend now dollar index, dollar index started this week on a back foot but it was uh, expected because dollar index is going down for the past few weeks and what we are having here was the breakout of the super important horizontal support to 96.2 uh, points and the price went below and now the price is trying to come back but that's just the normal movement of the price testing the broken support as the closest resistance it's nothing new it's nothing special it's just a typical movement after the supports get broken so in my opinion the sell signal on the dollar dollar index is on as long as we stay below the uh, green line and the target for this movement is on the orange area so the price should reach the orange support here now Canadian dollar to Swiss franc which is having also a nice which is in a nice place because look on the weekly chart the price uh, broke the line connecting recent higher uh, lows on Canadian dollar to Swiss franc we broke it and then the price reversed and now we're having a correction and this is the price testing the broken support as a resistance which again is a typical price action movement and what is happening here we are also testing the 38.2 which is always a strong resistance so this is a nice place for a bounce for a bearish bounce euro to australian dollar this is especially interesting thanks to my uh, friend one of our clients from the seminar he pointed this setup to me he said that there is an, uh, that there is a nice selling opportunity i said no 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 that is a counter trend trade and he said this somewhere here so that was a good call because look what happened if he would open this position here he would that would be stop loss and uh, on a flash crash you don't know where the stop loss would be taken right because it's uh, low uh, liquidity low uh, high volatility low liquidity but now after estimating the stop and after drawing this kind of a shooting star on a weekly chart uh, we are more and more sh certain about this short position here and as you can see traders tried the correction yesterday tried the correction today and they cannot just push the price higher so what is happening here is uh, there is this small uh, flag formation or the pennant here is a pennant so the breakout of the lower red line is a strong sell signal for this instrument so that is my view on the euro to australian dollar american dollar to swiss franc 
As long as we stay above the yellow area, the sentiment is positive, but the breakout of the yellow area will be a strong sell uh, signal. So look, uh, Swiss franc is about to get stronger, which would be in line with this Canadian dollar to Swiss franc. What is uh, helping here on the Canadian dollar to go higher is the price of the oil, but if we assume that this is the resistance, the price should go down which will also help the Canadian dollar to Swiss franc to go lower. Euro to Swiss franc here, I see a great buying opportunity on this, uh, on this chart, but for the proper buy signal, I would love to see the breakout of the blue line first, right? Because that's a broken resistance, resistance which is broken support, support, double testing, one, two, double testing one two uh, hammers uh, candles with long uh, tails this should result with the breakout of the blue line and the further upswing Australian dollar to Swiss franc here horizontal support bounce from the horizontal support with a nice candle and uh, that is potentially a very nice uh, buying opportunity uh, just check out this line it could broken uh, downtrend line got broken, so we supposed to see the further upswing. Let me recap the situation for you. Uh, so cable uh, breakout of the upper blue line, that's a buy signal. Uh, breakout new QE breakout of the red line, buy signal. Euro to British pound breakout of the lower green line, sell breakout of the upper green buy. Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar. Uh, breakout of the red line sell breakout of the upper green line buy Canadian dollar to Japanese yen that is buy uh, Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin breakout of the neckline that is buy breakout of the uh, red line sell uh, oil that is rather sell American dollar to Japanese yen that is rather sell uh, gold breakout of the red line sell uh, but um, in general, I'm positive for gold, euro dollar, uh, price getting to the checkpoint, buy S&P 500, that is sell, but I need to see the bounce from the gray area, uh, DAX, that is sell, but I need to see the breakout of uh, the uh, of the green resistance, uh, dollar index, uh, I would love to see the bounce from this line, but in general, that sell, Canadian dollar to Swiss franc that is uh, I would love to see the bounce here so that would be sell euro to Australian dollar that is uh, uh, penance so I would love to see the sell here American dollar to Swiss franc I would love to see the breakout of the yellow area so sell euro to Swiss franc I would love to see the breakout of the blue line so that would be a buy and here Australian dollar to Swiss franc that is rather buy so guys, thanks very much for watching daily analytic report. I hope you enjoyed this. And now a short break. And after the break, we will have an educational webinar about the basics of the Forex market. So thanks very much, guys, and see you in a bit.